Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I got some news about a new map pack coming to Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. Now, there's going to be four maps like a typical DLC for any Call of Duty, and we have the map Kill House Creek, Broadcast, and Chinatown. And this map pack comes out on March the 21st on PS4 first, of course. And also what's pretty cool about this is you get 10 free rare supply gems when you buy the map pack, and it's only $15. So, uh, that's honestly a pretty good deal. I kind of wish that every Call of Duty game from here on out will have like some other bonus for buying the DLC, like I said uh, there's going to be 10 free rare supply gems if you buy the variety map pack for Modern Warfare Remastered. Like I kind of wish that would happen to uh, other Call of Duty games from here now but uh, yeah that's just my own personal opinion guys. But uh, I did see a lot of people complaining about the map pack you know. Uh, I do kind of feel that we should maybe have gotten this map pack for free because we did buy the you know the most expensive version of the uh, of the bundle for, for Infinite Warfare and of course Call of Duty 4 Remastered. Uh, but you know it is what it is. There's not really much we can do about that so yeah I do kind of wish it was was free again but I don't know I just wanted to talk about this a bit more because I do see a lot of people over on Twitter and Reddit like absolutely freaking out about this because they're saying that uh, we should have gotten the map pack for free you know because since they are old maps from another map pack and the only map pack in Call of Duty 4 actually you know we should be getting this for free and I do kind of agree with that actually you know because if it's you know it's not really that hard for Ravensoft to port over uh, the old maps to Call of Duty 4 and to like to, into the remastered so like I said I do kind of think that we should be getting this map pack for free maybe at least at like a, a little bit cheaper than $15 but uh, we still get 10 free rare supply just if you buy the uh, map pack so I guess that's a little bit more of an, of an incentive to buy this but still you know I do kind of wish that it was free and uh, I do kind of wish that they would actually come out with new maps then I could see this actually you know being something that we should actually pay for but if it's like you know old maps that we have seen before from uh, from Call of Duty 4 you know then you know we shouldn't be paying for that but I kind of have a fear that Call of Duty 4 might be splitting its player base a little bit because if you guys didn't know on uh, Infinite Warfare it is kind of hard to find matches now because if, if a new DLC map pops up on the on the uh, select a match option you know it is kind of hard for players to find a match because you know there's not a lot of players that have the new DLC and uh, to me honestly I think that we should be able to at least have an option to disable the DLC but uh, I don't know guys I want you to tell me what y'all think about this down in the comments you guys think that if the if Call of Duty 4 comes out with a new map pack you guys think there's going to be a lot of players that buy this what do y'all think about this do you guys think you're actually going to buy this map pack because I don't know personally like I said I do see a lot of people complaining about this over on Twitter and Reddit so I want you guys to let me know what you think about this down in the comments but I really just hope the same problem that's on IW doesn't happen to Modern Warfare Remastered because if like I said it is kind of hard to find a match now ever since they came out with a new DLC like it's been a struggle to find a match so uh, I don't know guys again let me know the thoughts also drop a like if you guys did enjoy and uh, thank you so much for watching I'm a very typical rest of the day till next time I'll catch you guys later